you don't need to tell us twice. This buck kicks all the other bucks out of there all the time. Oh, baby, oh, Mexico. Donde esta el baño? In other words, welcome to Archer's Choice, right? That means, is there a bathroom? Where is the bathroom? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who told you that? The guys. Yeah, they're full of baloney. Mm -hmm. Hey, this week we're heading down to Old Mexico with MC Outdoors, and we're going to hunt some whitetails <laughs> down. It's, they got gotcha. you. known. So Ralph wants to know where the bathroom is, and I want to say welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week's lucky logo is Thermocell, so look for the Thermocell logo. Keep the bugs away forever. Forever and forever. ever and ever. Until you run out of butane. Well, we've, got, gotta... we've got a great show ahead. I mean, we've got lots of stuff going on. Yes, ma'am. We are, we're heading down there and, you With know. Kathy and Mike Wheatley. I mean, sweet, super, super uh, people. Incredible people. I mean, right away, it's almost like your family. Absolutely. You know, one of the things, you know, a lot of, in today's world, you know, media, mm -hmm. like, don't go to Mexico. Don't, don't go to Mexico. And, you know, I, I mean, they, it was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. We went down, we had a great time, and not only do they have hunts in Mexico, but they also have them in Texas. That's right. So let's just go. We got lots of footage. Yeah. We've all heard stories about going down to Mexico and shooting big white-tailed deers. When we decided we were going to go down to MC Outdoors with Mike and Kathy, we were like, this is going to be a blast. We had Freddie and Z come with us to be our camera guys, and had everything packed up. It was wonderful because two weeks before that, we were freezing our butts up on Anacostia Island, and now we're heading to Mexico in the middle of December. What a great time to go to Mexico. Did you ever have a year when the weather just keeps following you in a negative way? No. You got it, but it's gonna change. Right when we cross the border, it's gonna turn perfect. We're gonna meet Mike and I think Kathy. Yep, Mike and Kathy. And Eagle Pass from MC Outdoor Adventures. And oh, I don't know if Kathy will be there yet. No, I don't know if Kathy will be there. And I know Mike will be meeting us there. We're gonna leave our van there in Eagle Pass, Texas. And we're riding into Mexico with Mike. So you know, and a lot of people today, they're talking about how dangerous Mexico is. Well, we're, we're gonna we're gonna show you the whole deal. We're driving right, like Vicki said, we're driving to Eagle Pass, and then we're going over the border. But what Mike and Kathy do is they meet their clients on this side and then they escort them in. And they already have all of our visa paperwork and all everything the paperwork. like that for all four of us. The only one we're concerned with is Freddie. Freddie, we hope that you can make it back home with us. I got my green card. Okay, good, go. good, good, good. We got down there, we met Mike and Kathy right on, right in Eagle Pass, Texas, where they were able, they, they had a place for us to park our rental van while we were gone. It was on the U.S. side. They took us across in their vehicles. They knew exactly what to do and when to do it and what paperwork they needed to have for us. So we had no worries whatsoever. So what do y'all think? It's beautiful. beautiful. Let me show y'all. Beautiful. Y'all, the combination. We're roughing it down here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, we're roughing it. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. <laughs> wow. Very cool. Beautiful. There, there's one thing I have to tell y'all. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you right quick while we're at the bathroom. It's a rural septic system. Okay. No toilet paper. Of any kind down the toilet. Okay. All the, the ladies will take care of it. Well, and put it the, yeah, the in the trash can beside. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, because if it doesn't, Mike's got problems. <laughs> Did you hear that? No toilet paper in in the toilets, boys. You hear that? Wouldn't that figure? Can't flush the toilet paper. I think that's a job for Vicky. Well, you know, we saw a camp. Mike and Kathy showed us all around, and you know, we unpacked the Hoyts and made sure that they were on. So. We were ready to hunt. Yeah, I have one arrow that always hits low. Okay. G U M B O, gumbo. Thank you. Not, gu <laughs> not, not gumby. Gumbo. Oh, baby, how do you like this? Old Mexico. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Like we said, we're down here in Old Mexico. That's well, not well, here, but yeah, well, no, we're not down in Old Mexico no. right now. No. I have to say though, is when, when you first talk, told me that we're gonna go down to Mexico, I was a little nervous. Well, that's the little media. nervous, and then of course all the family's a little nervous for us, yep. and they're all freaking out, but it was the media, Mike and Kathy had everything taken care of. And I mean, to get more flavor, I know that you love that salsa down there, it was really, really hot. It was hot, holy cow. Yeah, I mean, he burned cow. his mouth, I think, we almost got blisters in yep. that one night, it was so hot. 
didn't you? But let's not waste any time because we got a whole bunch of action. So we're going out. We got we had good trail cameras, uh, shots of a nice, a great a ten, beautiful ten point. Yeah. So let's go. Ralph, you're gonna have to wait on Ralph. I'm sorry, but he's late. We're going hunting. Let's go. Good morning, old Mexico. We're here with Mike and Kathy, and we are pumped up, and we are down here in old Mexico, and we can't wait. They got this down to a science. There was no hassles. We went right, we came right into camp. I mean, got new Hoyt Matrix, and we are gonna do some damage. Damage. All right, this is, this is Vicky's spot, so I'm gonna pee all over here and get it all ready for her. You, you never know what to expect. You know, the first time you go in in the morning, you're in the blind and you're like, you can't see anything. So your anticipation, I think, is, that, is, is, is constantly increasing as you start to get that little, you know, that sunlight, that pink light, that, you, a, a, you know, daybreak in your life. We're in a stand, sun's coming up, you got does feeding around. You know, I, I remember we, we had a nice little eight point, and you know, they told us about this, this 10 that they had been seeing, big mature deer, and it, it was getting later in the morning, and all of a sudden, the two doe, we had two does out in the way in the background, and you saw them both come to alert, alert and they're looking away, and we're like, and then the next thing you know, you see them like duck, something's dogging them, and sure enough, I put my, I put my Nikons up, and I'm looking, and, there it is. I said, see, it's the 10, it's the 10. Here he, he's coming in, he's coming in. beautiful Mexico buck. I know that was his first Mexico deer and he was really pumped. Hey, here he is. Here he is right here. Can you believe it? Again, we're down here in old Mexico. Just shot a beautiful buck, man. Look at this. Look how he comes in. He cups up. What a gorgeous 10 point. We're down here with Mike and Kathy of MC Hunting, and I'm telling you what, you can't ask for nothing better. Let me give you an idea. Bucks, javelinas, turkeys, they've had two opportunities. They've shot one mountain lion from our ground blinds. Is that amazing or what? Down here in Old Mexico with Mike and Kathy, and the results, well, proof's in the pudding. Took my Hoyt, my, my new carbon matrix, and I put it to the test. And guess what? It passed, baby, it passed. 
time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. Here's a great way to save your investment. We spend lots of money on our equipment, whether it's your bows, your arrows, your arrow rests, your sights, your optics, your knives, whatever it is. When you're going on an airline, remember, take a camera, still camera, video camera, whatever it is. Take photos of everything once you have it packed. Now, obviously, I'm not going on a trip with just this because I would need a lot more in my bow case, but take photos of it just in case that airline misplaces your bag and you never get it back you have proof to show the airlines and the insurance company you do have an option when you check in at the airport you can buy extra insurance for your bags it's up to you it's another way to save your investment but that's your bow hunting world tip of the week don't go anywhere it's not siesta time yet we are south of the border with mc hunting adventures and we'll be right back this buck kicks all the other bucks out of there all the time Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Congratulations, that's a beautiful buck. I'll tell you what, the, the hunting's great down there. It is, but now it's my turn to hunt, but I'm not feeling the old Mexico like we did down there. Okay, well, I after I found out what the guys taught me, or, or yeah, they, what they, they taught didn't you the, teach me the, right. The wrong, not the welcome to Archer's Choice. Yeah, yet. I sort of, I have a payback. Okay. And to get you into the mood, and everyone in the mood, Okay. I am bringing in our own Archer's Choice mariachi band. We're at MC Outdoor Adventures and here we are, we're sitting in a really kind of a cool looking ground blind that they've created out of some plywood and we've got some shoot through mesh going on. They said there's a big six and there's a 10 and an eight and heck, they got trail cam photos of all kinds of different critters walking around, including mountain lions. We're just gonna sit tight, hope, wait for the sun to come up and hopefully something will come by and we'll be able to take a shot at it. Mike and Kathy were telling us that at this one um, blind area, they call it the horse blind. I'm not really sure why, but they called it a horse blind. And they said uh, that there's this, this big six point there. And they said, now mind you, he's not the biggest buck in the area, but he is the dominant buck. You know, they have their pecking orders and this buck, they said this buck kicks all the other bucks out of there all the time. So I was kind of anxious to see what they were talking about. Freddie and I were out in the blind and, and this buck comes in and he was so neat. He's not the normal just go up six points straight out rack. He kind of swooped back and up and out and he was really unique. When, as soon as I saw him I knew that that's the one I want to try for and thankfully as he came in and presented me a shot I was able to do that. Look at how beautiful this six point is. Look at how cool his tines go. He goes out wide and comes back in. This is just, oh. <clears throat> Mike and Kathy here at MC Outdoor Adventures. You guys are the greatest. I can't believe this six came in this morning. I, I cannot believe that this six came in this morning. You guys told me he was a great six. This is the biggest six I've ever seen, I think. I know it's the biggest one I've ever gotten. 
Oh. <sighs> Look at the way he kind of curves up and swoops back. It's a beautiful, beautiful Mexico buck. Kathy, Mike, thank you so much. Freddie, thank you so much for being there with me. <laughs> and Lord, thank you for the six point. Mm. Yes, good. Don't go in, we'll be right back with more of the Archer's Choice down in Old Mexico with MC Outdoors. And he said, guys, if you want, you can purchase the tags and well, you know, you can go try again. You don't need to tell us twice. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Are, are you feeling it? Because I, I really... I'm feeling something, not really sure what. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm feeling or... But yes, it's that a, was a... That was a really cool six. It was. It was a really cool That's a six. trophy animal anywhere. I mean, it was just cool. It is. And now you're up again? I am. They, had, they had extra ranch tags. And right. And I told you, which is the wrong thing to do. I don't know that I can continue to talk like this, though, with the mariachi band no, behind me. Every time that I just look at you and I, I see Freddie and Z... I know. Let's, Let's just get to footage. hunting because this is <laughs> this is a bloopers just waiting to happen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know, I'd taken my deer, Vicky took hers, and Mike and Kathy go, you know, well, we still have um, two tags left for the season because we were actually the last ones, and we're like, tags? You have more tags? And we can buy them? <laughs> I'm there. So here it is. They have two extra tags left, and of course, Ralph is like, me, 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 me. You can't keep the man, that bow will not go down. You know what they say, you can't keep a good man down? Well, that good man can't keep his bow down. That's the problem with the rope. Right here, Z. Look at. Oh, <laughs> there he is, right here. <laughs> Can you believe this? The other morning, Z and I had this eight point. We saw him, and he was chasing everything out of the area. He was chasing does. He was chasing all the bucks. And we went back, and we showed the footage to Mike. And Mike and Kathy said, "Oh yeah, that's that's an eight point. That's a management buck. A management buck. Yeah, baby. And he apps. He had. They had." Two more tags because the season's wrapping up here. And he said, guys, if you want, you can purchase the tags and well, you know, you could go try again. You don't need to tell us twice. And especially with my new Hoyt Carbon Matrix. Old Mexico, baby. Look at this. Yep. Can you see proud as a peacock? Congratulations. I love old Mexico. You know what I mean? And Mike it and was Kathy. So fun. What great people. It was you know, it's just it's just the whole atmosphere, everything about it. And you know, even even having our own mariachi band, you know, and, and I'm really glad that it's it's like they're getting into it so much that they even claim like a siesta time. I know, but first, yep. Thermocell, Lucky Logo, if you yep. saw Keep it, log away. on to archerschoice.com, click on the Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, someone's gonna win some great stuff from Thermocell and a lot of other places too. Kathy Mike, thank you so much thank for you your great so hospitality, much. outfitting and Unbelievable hunting. Yeah, next week's show, Winter Hawk Outfitters up in Colorado. Gary Smoot, our own guy yep. here in the office, goes out on his first elk hunt with Larry Amos. And 
you don't want to miss that show. So we want to thank you for watching this week's show. We'll yes. see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Oh, shh, shh, quiet, Siesta, Siesta Time. Thank goodness for Siesta Time. Oh, their dancing and singing was so bad. Thank you.